the bitch who is the bitch, the bitch. hello who's the bitch? how is everybody welcome to wow. the first episode of who's the bitch and i want to know if you're the bitch today or do you have a bitch in your life we want to hear about it we need to hear about it so if you have a bitch in your life or you're wondering if maybe you were the bitch in a scenario please go to bit.ly slash lpn hotline that's bit.ly slash lpn hotline right there it is babies all there it is can we in we can see your gorgeous face or we cannot see your gorgeous face. I love that skunk baby already out the gate. I'm the bitch. And you know, it's good to know right from the start just up when top. you're being a bitch. Sometimes I'm the bitch. Self-awareness is very important here at Who's the Bitch. Very and important. Also very important. I think that up top we really need to get into the fact that like not all bitches are bad. Oh no, most... I I'm a bitch. I, I, everybody I'm friends with is a bitch. I love bitches. I'm a bitch. That's like a. That's we just got. Come general. on, we got bitches in chat. Yeah. Like Bhutan. We can all be the bitch. We've all been the bitch, and sometimes it's you, and sometimes it's somebody else. Yeah, and sometimes you're a badass, awesome bitch, and sometimes you're being a stank ass bitch, and we need to tell you that. Yeah, sometimes you being a slab ass, slab ass bitch. Maybe you're being boring, and maybe <laughs> you're being a little bit of a sleepy, a sleepy little bitch. If you call us with a boring story. 
sleepy bitch. You're a sleepy bitch. We're going to get you right out of here, sleepy bitch. Not going to allow bitch. that. Sorry. But we are down. We want your details. We want yes. your information. Hell yeah, Lucifer. I'm bitching, bitchy bitch. And sometimes that's extra bitch on top of bitch. <laughs> Love Wait, it. do we should we introduce ourselves yeah, first show? Yeah, hey first guys. show. Hey, first show. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us. I'm trying to. Can you tell? I'm trying to keep my energy. I'm trying to be chill. Like, I'm, just like <laughs> I'm effortless today. This is this is low key. This is Jackie at 65. percent Yeah. Anyway. How do, how do you feel about it? Delilah love Go songs at night, Jackie. Twenty though, like whenever I want. <laughs> but it's just right there at the end of my fingertips. Thank you, Uncanny Rachel. I think you're stunning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's talk. Welcome, you know, everybody here, LPN. You know, Kara, you've been hanging out in some of the Hoopa You were a little bit lately. Google. I was murdered very recently on Hoopa Goo Goo. Very quickly on Hoopa Goo Goo, and that's fine. I was also murdered on Hoopa Goo Goo, which makes us beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And yes, thank you, Cat Brain Jones. Yeah, effortless. Everybody's always referring to me as effortless, right? <laughs> now, Kara, Kara Clank is the host of podcast. Yes. yes messed up. Yes. The SVU podcast. I host a podcast about Law and Order SVU if you're interested. And you should definitely check that out. But that's not what we're fucking talking no. about today. Now, Kara and I, I'm Jackie Zabrowski. I guess I can introduce myself as well. I'm a member of LPN. Jackie Thank you guys Zabrowski. so much for hanging out with us and uh, for joining us on our new adventure. Oh my God, thank you. I don't really play video games with the 10 gifted subs thank you so much i had to really play video games love your love wow and I'll i'm see. just learning about the sub game but thank you we appreciate that and also thank you jd panda for noticing our love is blind cup so we are drinking a little bit of wine just a little bit just enough to get oh we want that bitch peeking out of the top of your shorts just like your ass crack now and then if things get really bitchy We've got buzz balls, baby. Well, they are. It is a woman-owned company, and I think you we'll remember that from LP. Yours is keying out so. because it's a beautiful oh, no, apple it's, green. Oh, yeah, because it's forbidden. Apple. It's forbidden. Maybe that's why it wasn't the green screen. It's just because it's mine. Forbidden. Mine's a, a, a lot of culotta. I've never had one before. Woman-owned. Cheers. Cheers. It's our first show, inaugural show. Cheers to everybody. Zang. Okay. Wow, Lil Bish Bear, thank you so much for the gifted yeah. subs, Lil Bish Bear. We're, oh my God, Ed, <laughs> thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, I love Lil Bish so Bear much for your subs. Now, Kara, yes. we've known each other for a really long, a time. really long time, and I dare say that I think that we've been both wanting to work with each other for almost just as long. Yes. Well, if you dig deep into the internet, you will find a video of me being kidnapped by Jackie and a couple friends. It's mm -hmm. a sketch mm -hmm. and they beat me senselessly and then we drink together and party until I give birth to a banana. Yeah. And so we, check the internet for yeah, that. We did make that. That exists. Um, that. I just stumbled upon it recently and was like, wow. Yeah. You no, know, well, Demon Lemurnik, it wasn't Murder Fist. It was girls or roommates and yeah. it wasn't in, in, uh, technically now if you look back, we were being the bitch in that situation because we did ask a young, very busy person to A, do a sketch completely for free, B, pretend like she was pregnant and have her go through the birthing process of having a baby <laughs> banana. Now, you don't just ask anybody to do that. You got to really know. Only certain people are down for that kind of yes. acting. Panic Bhutan says, girls are roommates is wonderful and I appreciate that. I think it's a little unhinged. <laughs> but you know, then if you've checked out girls are roommates, you know Kara and, and you've seen each me. other for a really you long time. You saw me. Time. I was just a little baby giving birth to a baby banana and what's really crazy is how much Kara and I have both changed since we first started to get to know each other yeah and I I, I mean I guess I could just assume Kara because you are a wife and a mother of two children that you've changed from when we were doing a little I'm we still doing. getting drunk <laughs> I, I you still gotta get drunk I mean you have kids again but yeah I feel like yes Panic with Don we had a bit of a glow up and so part of us wanting to tell you guys if you're being a bitch or if somebody else is being a bitch is because, man, we have been that We've bitch. been there. We've been the bitch. So many times. And honestly, I have quietened, quietened it. I have deadened the bitch that lives inside of me and I miss her. Let's bring her back out. So that show. Let's bring her back out. show, we're going to bring her back out a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, so we much. got opinions. Bitch is gifting the subs. Action Bastard is gifted out. Oh my God, Action What's Bastard. What's happening? What's Action happening? Action Bastard gifted so many subs. Five subs. That's insane. Thank you so much, Action Bastard. And I, do, I have no idea how Twitch can gift a sub, but I'm going to say maybe it's like it's from gold. Are we getting all these subs because we're both showing our feet? <gasps> 
Well, bring in, yeah, thank you. We didn't even mean to, we but did. we're both just we are showing, showing our feet. feet and we did know, some market research that just said if we start out with a good wiki feet up top, that yeah. we'll get more listeners. Subs. I never show my feet, and I was like, maybe today's the day. <laughs> my feet today's aren't like you know, my feet aren't like my brother's feet. My brother's feet are horrific. Oh well, I've my co-host's feet. My the co-host of my other podcast said something so. Uh, her name's Lisa Traeger. Very funny. She said uh, men's feet should be illegal. And I think that's um, yes. that's something I carry with me, and I I'm considering a first tattoo. Yes, it's just that. I um, think that's really good. You should get it tattooed on your feet. yeah, <laughs> so that you can show everyone. I've never seen Henrys that I can think of, but I'm they're not actually really not that bad in the scheme of feet. You know, they're really not that bad. Okay, but he talks about them like they're horrible, and they're really not that bad. <laughs> Get him in here. Henry, I, w- I want to really? see for myself. I, think, I feel like the toes are being the bitch in that situation. <laughs> but, you know, maybe the toes, they don't scream into your brain the way they scream into Henry's brain. Now, I, I well, let's get into a little bit. Now, y'all are new here. Yeah. You're new here. We're going to explain how this is going to work. Let's talk brass talk. Tox. Brass tox. <laughs> I talk that brass tox. So what's happening here right now, this live stream, we'll be live streaming every other Monday. We can't bring this to you every Monday. It's just too much power too on the red internet. Hot. It would literally explode everything. So every other Monday we'll be here, and then that will. this episode will turn into a podcast. And then every other uh, Wednesday... Sorry, um, look, I'm being so confusing. Every Wednesday there will be a podcast. We got a podcast every. It'll Wednesday. be a combination of these live streams and us just doing regular podcast episodes with voicemails, DMs, emails. But on this show, we want to hear your voices and we want to see your face if you feel comfortable. If you don't, you just turn that camera off, baby. No problem. Worried you are, bitch. Call now. Bit.ly slash LPN hotline. Get your calls in because we want to hear. What from if you. you're? What if you want to call in really badly, but you know that you have a friend? who watches LPN stuff and might be caught li- listening to our live stream. Disguise your own voice. I would say That's that. That's it. You got to call in and go. Email. Yeah. Or just write an email. But if you really want to call in, just um, work on some vo- vocal tactics. And Oh, my God. Hi. Uh, my problem is that. Uh, yeah. Like that kind that of thing. Maybe your problem is that you've become a demon. Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, if you're if you an, back over. <laughs> if an an- anonymity means something to you, um, when you call in, we want all the juicy details, please. Please give us. Yes. Or if you write us, give us details. It's like if you're just like my sister-in-law's being a bitch. I want to know why. What'd she say? What'd she do? What's the content? I want to know what kind and the looks she's been giving yes you know the ones i'm fucking talking about and um if you but but give us enough info that is not and that's this is if you call in as well don't dox anyone don't be like my sister elaine johnson from you know portland maine we don't want to dox anyone and elaine i'm sorry to bring you up like that Whoa, but elaine's gonna fucking you know come get she's you. coming for me sorry babe um, but you know don't dox anybody and if you're calling in you are giving us consent to use your voice and likeness on the podcast Even Lamer, Nick, oh my stream. god jackie i saw the substance my god are they the bitch or dennis quaid we all know dennis quaid is the bitch i haven't seen that movie i'm too scared you um, told me to um, you told me all I about it and i'm too scared yeah, watch okay movie. that's not it's not it's not even in a scary way I just know you don't like I'm a, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm being a bitch. I'm assuming you're not a huge body horror. No, 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 you are. Out. That is a correct assumption. And, and this ain't the movie for you, babe. But the, for those of you that do love body horror, check out the substance. Just I don't know saying. if this substance is for me either. Why? Do you not like it? <laughs> no, it's okay. Do you this... want to try my forbidden apple? Yeah. No, no, no. I just got over a cold. I don't want oh, you to get right. a forbidden yeah. cold. I but appreciate listen. that because that would also be a really This is okay. I move. think this would be so good ice cold. And it's 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 cool. I you, I you know what? I love a lukewarm buzz ball. Yum goes down kind of like it's grease. <laughs> Woman owned. Woman owned everybody. Women owned. But also don't forget when you're giving us a call. When you're calling us up you are giving us consent to use your voice and your image on our show. Yep. So we wanted to say that up top so that y'all got it in your beautiful noggins. <laughs> yeah, baby, it's consenting. Yeah, we're all consenting adults here. Give yeah, us your, give us your problems. Calling equals consent. Calling equals consent. Bit.ly slash LPN team hotline. Not LPN team. Thank you. <laughs> Bit.ly slash LPN hotline. Camera is optional. How was your weekend? Did you get an 
in it into it with any bitches over the weekend? I thought you were just gonna ask me if I got it in, and like, no. yeah, I did get it in. Did I you? was like, I'm just very surprised that you wanted to know. That would be up top. Up top, every show, we're gonna talk about how much sex the other one has had during the week. Yeah, and okay, that's just, good. that's just, I think, stuff we need to know to even the playing field, figure out how everybody's mood is. Yeah. How much did you get it in? Mm, yeah, we need to start keeping a lot. Also, I talk like a Jersey Shore character now. I love this. Am I the gorilla on the beach? <laughs> hey, you'd be coming after me if I was, baby. Did you GTL over the weekend? Uh, yeah. So, well, I did gym and I did laundry, but obviously I haven't been doing a lot of tanning lately. I will say the more I sit next to you, the more I realize how much paler I am than you are. I am just a tanner person, though. You're like, just, like, I naturally just, tan? Yeah, I mean, it just, um, it's, I'm a, I have a Mediterranean background. Oh, like an olive. Yeah, it's an olive -y thing happening. So, yeah, but also I um I I am out outside with my children sometimes and the sun gets to me. Dear you be outside with the children. Oh, dear, thank you for the gifted 10 subs. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for the gifted subs. <laughs> They're like, "Here are some subs, subs wear sunscreen." Energy. I love this. <laughs> now, you know, what about your weekend? Did you get it in? I, I guess I'm not asking the <laughs> crass. I won't be crass on this show. No. Yes, Wednesdays are for woohooing. So come join me over on The Sims. On Wednesdays, we woohoo. We're not talking about, unless you want to talk about banging. We can talk about banging. <laughs> I just want to talk about banging. I'm always no. talking about, right, um, about banging. I, I, okay, this weekend, I. Uh, got it. I had a combo with my friend where I heard about her husband who's kind of being the bitch. I'll be honest. I, I, I don't want to, I can't get into it too hard, but man, you got to listen to your wives when they tell you what's wrong. You yeah. got to listen. No, you got to listen. listen. Don't be a fucking oh, bitch. Oh, so the partner was just not listening whatsoever. Yeah, he was just not giving any kind of, um, yeah, he was just kind of like, no, you're actually wrong. And I was like, I was just getting really mad. But That's very frustrating. I also went to go see the movie The Wild Robot and I cried like a little bitch. I am really keeping myself from whole, watching The Wild Robot. I cried so hard that my daughter next to me and my five-year-old goes, I can hear you. And I go... Okay. She was like, stop crying, you stupid little bitch. I was like, oh, just this movie that's a full metaphor for motherhood? I'll be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> the movie wasn't for her. The movie was for Oh, her. my God. I set the trailer for Wild Robot. We all know it's a movie you can bring a kid to see, but the movie is not for kids, right? No, it, it is totally because it's beautiful oh, and it's okay. funny and there's a it. lot of go good animals making little jokes and stuff like my kids totally got it. But like the deeper message of it is like a heartbreaking, devastating God, I <laughs> message love about devastating. parenthood. Um, but it's gorgeous. The minute I got out of there, I go, this is gonna, This has to win an Oscar. It's like the best movie I've ever seen. It's Even so good. Like Wild Robot. It's the new, like, it, you can see it in the trailer that you're going to sob your ass off. Yeah, it's a, it's a, like that. Wait, we got a comment from Majestic, the Majestic Kayla who wanted Majestic to. Majestic Kayla. Hello. Who had a question about the questions that come in on the show. Ooh. Do they have to be current? I don't think so. Is it still bothering you? Do you want to know something? Let's like, talk yeah, about I don't it. care if it happened five years ago. Hell no. Um, what if there's a lot of background info required? I mean, I love background info. Give it to me as long as it's not like I, we can't have and you monologuing for ten minutes. She yeah. At me. Well, this is my husband. And, uh, you know what I mean. My husband always makes fun of me and says that I start stories way too back in the story. He'll be like, he'll be like, high school. Why are you going back to high school right now? <laughs> like, so, um, you know, yeah. yes and no on the background. We want the background, we want the details, but we can't. Um, let's. We can't keep. We can't go back general generationally. I get you, slime girl. I might have a gripe about something that happened 15 years ago, but I still think about it. Hit us. Yes, tell gripe. me. I want. I'll tell you who the bitch was in that situation but then the last part of the majestic kayla's question was and what if it gets political um i mean you know eh. you probably won't touch the politics with a 10-foot pole and even though i think you can assume i think you can assume what, what, how we lean. that we are maga to the core yeah obviously uh, <laughs> make my fucking country bitchy again i can't believe i'm drinking women owned women should be in the kitchen making sandwiches obviously sorry buzzball the we're gonna be and i pour it out yeah don't ever pour it out woman owned. <laughs> Um, I should tell my sister to call in and bitch about our other sister, says Melissa. Z -z 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 -z. Melissa, love go that. for it. Do I it. Oh, my God. Especially, please. Um, I am. 
I've got brother boss. You think that I don't love a sibling bitch fest? Oh, somebody asked, Delighting Gail Plays asked, can we get advice to be more of a bitch? Absolutely. Do you have a, do you feel like you're getting walked on and you want us to help you amp Pop up you your bitch? Up. No problem. Yes, please. We are Challenge ready. accepted. We, we will, will make you bitch. bitch. Yes. I want to encourage your we bitch. Are, we are the Frankenstein doctors who will arise, yes. bitch. Well, because also, like I was saying this on the live earlier, but Kara really is a person that I look at your life and I'm just like, oh, I, I genuinely would take advice from you. Kara is like, not only has all of her shit together, she writes for television. She also has like a bunch of fucking oh, siblings. Yeah. She keeps all of her fucking life together she has all of her i mean again it goes back to the fact that you have excel spreadsheets of all of your bills from 2000 and six six listen but but what do you think would six. happen if i skipped one of those months the entire house would crumble it would crumble that's the thing it would that's the you. thing i might seem every, anybody who seems like they really have it together because people write me all the time and they'll be like you make parenthood look really fun i'm like it's a fucking nightmare half the time you know whatever we're all like i'm just here to be honest you oh, know like yeah. but also uh, but, bucket spice yes it's bitch autumn by the way i don't know if i told you this it's bitch autumn been calling it bitch autumn so let's go oh we're done with brat summer and it's bitch autumn, bitch autumn. fall what? into the bitch yes Oh my god, I do remember falling into the gap. Oh, I remember falling. <laughs> I remember falling to the gap. We're all falling the into age. the gap. <laughs> We're the oh, same. Oh dang, Autumn, blonde and bother, don't you dare! I love. Oh, I love that little oh my baby god. hippo. Okay, wait. We want to get to calls eventually, so let's get on to our first. Uh, our first segment of the show is we're going to give a little bit of unsolicited advice. So this is where we give advice and we suss out who the bitch is in pop culture, in the zeitgeist, in what everybody's talking about. So. Look at that. Advice. So, oh my God. our very first story that we're going to talk about, story, I mean, first pop culture item, Jackie and I have both fallen tits first into the fucking secret, secret lives. lives of Mormon, Mormon wives. wives. If you don't know what we're talking about, you've been living under a rock. Go you might not be life. watching it, and that's fine. Not everybody has to watch it, but everybody's talking about it. It's a reality show on Hulu. It's like Eight or nine, 20 year olds. I mean, they are so young. Babies, the babies. Maybe one, one them, is 30, but like the one rest of them, them already divorced. 22 years old has three kids yeah and divorce like, that's insane to me but but what i like about it because some people have said that they thought like it would be yes. too frustrating for them because of just watching like the the misogyny uh, that is a little bit inherent in in the mormon church and stuff like that but what i like yeah, about yeah, it's it only, it's a little bit inherent yeah but what i <laughs> what i like about it is that half of the um half of the the girls are super devout mormons and the other half are like we're divorced we love to drink let's Saints make a tiktok video sinners. and fucking sell extensions and that's our lives i like, love that also so, panic baton it's the opposite of most reality actually trying to get knocked up oh man over and oh over yeah yeah over. yeah look at them. oh there they are and their, their blue coats on. Do, 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 I, do, 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 do. it yeah. scares me this image actually scares it's me. terrifying i think they do it on purpose that's a that's very iconic yes like you know I mean, it's like, I, I, uh, you know that they did it in the spring and they wish that it was a full snowy field. I wish there wasn't all that grass poking out, but that's just, I I'm literally, too. but like, uh, it's literally these blue coats, which I'm sure have some significance that you and I haven't looked up, uh, but religion or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just love that half of them are like religion garments. Like we have to be beholden to our husbands. And then the other half are like, oh, we soft swing. Like, so the show basically starts out with one of the main girls uh, has blown up the whole group because Taylor. she's gone and her i love it Taylor. because so many people in chat nobody's throwing out taylor's the bitch isn't it insane no from that first episode to the end that actually taylor's not the bitch anymore no listen listen here's the thing if we're gonna just go out i think anybody that watches this show thinks that we're about to say that whitney is the bitch interesting right it is a good choice. and that is what i would have said until I watched maybe the last episode. Man, it's those last two episodes. And those. In fact, I saw it. I saw some people in chat, y'all. We all know yeah. who the real bitch. I am with Lily's is. dark materials. Zach is absolutely the bitch. Zach Fleck. Okay. Zach, Zach Fleck, not, Affleck. Not actually related to Ben Affleck, by the way. Which why would you lie about it? Can we also say, talk about being the bitch in this situation? Why would you lie about it? 
on national television and think that no one's going to find out. No, literally genealogy experts got on this guy's ass like with the quickness that you would not believe. Immediately it was like, nah, bro, like going back 10 generations, you're not related to Ben Affleck in any way. So they were like, we're Ben Affleck's second cousins. It's like, no, you aren't. No, you're not. But he's got this sweet little Mormon wife, Jen, who's on the show. He is one of these guys where he has the white hair, but his hair matches the color of his skin. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, That's he not. looks like a baby ghost. No, he looks like someone. No, he I'm is sorry, like, like a he's got fried ass, like skateboarder or not or snowboarder hair with white facial hair. I hate everything about him. Yes, he he is rich yes. and he married a girl who came from working class background. Her mother was a cleaning lady in the hospital where his father is a pulmonologist. Am I yes. correct? Yes, you are. And correct. she is pay, paying his way through met through uh life right now with their children she, with her TikTok dancing. She's paying for everything. And then when he gets called to go, he gets into medical school. He's like, um, let's move to New York. And she goes, I don't know. I'm kind of doing my TikTok thing here. And it's like been making us a lot of money. And he goes, I don't really care. And I was just like, like just I throw almost, him out of the resource earlier. Said, did he lie to her? He must have, right? He must have lied to her. Thank you. The she chat is chanting, it. fuck Zach. And fuck that is Zach. Why you guys are is real. The bitch. Zach no. is definitely the Imagine bitch. Imagine Zach as your doctor. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know how to red age prop. Imagine Zach as your doctor. Imagine you walk in, you're in a fucking little, I was at my gyno today. I'm in a little paper thin gown and that fucking blonde on blonde skin on hair man comes in and goes, yo, um, what, how, how are you feeling today? Like, no, Whoa, no, no. that's really crazy. You should like go to a doctor. Yeah. Have something. you ever thought about praying to your Lord and savior and perhaps being a more devout wife for your husband? That could actually really help. Like, oh my God, kill <laughs> I this thought guy. It was just a no. Kill him with no. fire. I Do hate not. him. I hate him. And I think he's the bitch. And I I think that's that's our oh hot God, take. Panic Vutana. He, it's pre, he probably can't say vagina. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably scared of saying the word vagina. Oh my God. He's horrible. But you know, with Red Age, he called Jen the R word. It's just like it's just all these things. This man, it, it was him and Dakota. I know yeah. that I don't know if this is a double bitch situation. Oh yeah. Here, but I will say for anyone that cares, apparently Taylor and Dakota have gotten a broken up. They're done. They're done. So, From what I read, they're bitch. done. Later, That's bitch. A bye, See bitch. See you later. That's a bye, bitch. Dakota is trash broker. But yeah. I mean, they freaked out because their wives went to Chippendales in Vegas. Just walked into the establishment. Didn't touch a man. Didn't do anything, and it was like a, a full freak, like meltdown. If a partner speaks to you the way she was spoken to, leave that partner. No one deserves to ever speak to you that way. No matter who they are, no matter what they are to you, they do not have the authority. No one does to speak to you that way. Right. That me. That like conversation between the two of them. It actually made me like sick to my. I was stomach. so. And then. I, and and then, then she was that upset. And then she came back and was like, "We worked it out. Everything's fine." Like a little alien, like zombie. Uh, like, no, no, uh, no, 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 yes. no. I, I hate this guy. I doll wife now. I fucking hate this guy. This Although girl everyone is knows so I'm sweet. the doll wife in my partnership. You know, I'm a bit of a doll wife. I go, Jeffrey, you want me to put on the gloss? Jeffrey, may I leave the house? And you know, he usually does. But it depends on the day. He, he normally really, lets uh, you go out. He normally out. does. Yeah. yeah. You're like, is a tank top okay today, daddy? daddy is it okay today? He's like, no shoulders today. Yep. And Goody Zabrowski. So Lord knows what's going to happen when I get home. I think, yeah, it's Goody Jack. He's been <laughs> having a hullabaloo with the devil, and I'm fine with it. Okay, wait. Okay, our next piece of unsolicited advice is... Oh, yeah, Alien. Yes, that's so true. Thank you so much, Jackie. Just got out of a very abusive on and off six-year relationship where someone would tell me to shut the fuck up, and you know what? Gotta say, not worth it. It's not, and I'm so proud of you for getting out of that relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank He's you. the bitch. Yes. You're, and you're He's the, the you're bitch. badass bitch. Hell yeah, you are. Get out of that fucking relationship. Nobody deserves to treat you that way. Oh, I'm getting all fired. We're getting pissed. I'm, I'm getting pissed. But, um, get pissed oh, yeah. Yet. 
Oh, somebody also just wrote, it's gone now, but somebody wrote that Zach is the kind of guy that probably thinks you can get pregnant in a hot tub, just like with oh the sperm God. floating across. Oh and God. I like that. He's That's probably like, so true. He's just um, turning off in every every hot tub just in case someone goes in and he <laughs> to have another child. <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are all reproductive abusers, in my opinion. Anyway, um, so the next story is... Dave Grohl, we, that little we don't Foo even Fighter. Need to talk about him that much. Look at this little I Foo just Fighter. Feel like it is the kind of thing where, like, he. I mean, I think that we can say off the bat that he's being a bit of a bitch. I mean, scenario. you've been married twenty-one years. You're hiding a. You're hiding a. Uh, come on, it's tw- it's twenty twenty-four. Be like, can we be open? Can we figure out some kind of arrangement? Would you like, I don't know, like, figure something out. You're, you're going to get caught. You're famous. And then, oh. and then your point was, your point that we were talking about this before, is know. if you're going to be fucking somebody for 10 years, why aren't you? Wrap it up. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've never been a cheater and I don't have the ability to impregnate another person. But if I did and I didn't want anybody to find out, about what I was doing, I'd probably wrap it up. Yeah. Or I'd probably do Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like take some responsibility <laughs> or initiative, just wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Or you... get the snip, Grapist, yes, or get the snip. Yeah, get the snip. You've got a bunch of kids. I don't know. Then I was wondering, you know, because my mind goes to SVU, like crazy places. I'm like, maybe she was poking holes in the old. Rubbers. I, I love the SVU. Maybe she was like, maybe she was like, I'd love a little Foo Fighter. You know I'd what love I mean? To keep I'd him love around. to be like, you know, there goes my baby, you know? Oh, yeah. Coming into me. <laughs> uh, but that's him singing about himself looking in the mirror. <laughs> I imagine that's the uh, right, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would assume. Uh... <laughs> so. I mean, yes, right, Red Age. Or ask, hey, are you on birth control? If not, I'm going to wrap it up. Like, there's just, or with like any, like, I think it's really what it goes down to. This is definitely a lack of communication, bitch, right here. Because if he could have just, you know, either, maybe, get out of a relationship if you're that unhappy and you want to go cheat yeah. for 10 years. Or be, oh, let's say you're a rock and rollist and oh, I couldn't possibly. I must stick my dick or slap my pussy upon whatever whatever floor I can it's find. It's part of my art. Yeah. Just get out of the relationship. Like I just don't, I am not a cheater. Right. No, no. I, I, I don't have time. I, I, I don't have the creativity or the time. I don't want to lie. I just, it's so much you got to create all the time. Just, or you have no respect for your partner and feel like, oh, I don't need to even explain myself at all. Yeah. Which I feel like not to be like this is kind of the latter with this situation that he probably just doesn't give a shit. Yeah, well, absolutely. There's definitely, right, like a hubris of like, I can't get caught or even if I do, what does it matter? I don't know. Uh, we've got people, I don't really play video games, says he's the bitch. Thank you. I and think he's the bitch. And, you know, I think Amber or Amberry91 is like, I expected better for some reason. I agree. It's like, I think I we know. all thought he was like one of our good ones. You know, somebody started a, a Twitter thread recently that was like, y- who are you going to put in a thread that you think could never be in, 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 uh, broiled in like a, Oh God! A Diddy in a thing in a in a Grohl thing, like, and somebody just put Keanu Reeves, and I was like, "Yeah, if Keanu betrays us, I think I'm just gonna walk into the ocean with rocks in my pockets." Yep. Like, I'm gonna I don't know. I don't think we can do it. I just yeah, I, I don't. It, think. it can't be Keanu. Um, I but- love a Stanley Tucci, Caroline Selly. I hope Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Stanley Tucci. Please. He's gonna show us all. Um, oh, while well, well, he's making his cocktails, you ever watch? Oh yeah, Stanley Tucci's like making cocktails, making food shows. Like he does a stri- I don't even know what he. Does. Does. I think literally they're just giving him money. Be like, why don't you get Stanley Tucci about the town? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see you do that. No, Silver Moon Alchemy said, pregnancy aside, if he wasn't wrapping it up, he's putting his wife at risk for catching shit. And that's so true, too. That would be my number one uh, fuck you if I found out about cheating. I'd be like, or, and then, I mean. There are people that found yeah. out that way, too, because my ex's mother found out that his father was cheating on her. They'd been married for 35 years and found out that she was cheating he was cheating because she got an std in her 60s and like that is the most hard, like oh my that's god the, the layers of how pissed off i would be not only just about the cheating but the fact that like you also caught something and then you also didn't even go take care of it you just 
fucked me with your stank ass dick and you put it inside of me? How dare? He's the bitch. He's Mortifying. the fucking bitch. I'd, engine, I'd stab him. I just can't imagine how angry I would just like, I'd flip out in a level that I, I, I feel that I dare say I'd have a stroke. Well, Dave, if you're watching, you got our advice, bitch. You're a bitch. You're the bitch, and, Dave. And I guess if we were going to pop Dave on the bitchometer. Oh, yeah. Let's get Dave on the bitchometer, shall no, we? We haven't even introduced this is our This is our yet. bitchometer where we, um, we, and we want you guys in chat to vote. What, uh, basically, what, one through five? We got one through One through five. five. One being the littlest bitch and five being the biggest bitch. Uh, just pop that in there. Tell us how bitchy you think Dave is being. Yes, let's get um, some chat votes on it because we are about to start taking your calls. Yes, momentarily. And hotline. Get your calls in now. And oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't really play video games. We got a bitchometer. <laughs> part of my brain wants to say bitchometer, and the other part of my brain wants. I know to say bitchometer. bitchometer. There's so like I feel like I don't know what happens. Well, for some reason, bitchometer is like '70s game show. Like, let's take it to the, the bitchometer, bitch which I do love. But then bitchometer. The poll is live. Thank you, LPN TV. The poll is. Thank live. you. The poll is One live. Five. How bitchy? From the terms of Gwyneth Paltrow to Kanye West, how bitchy would you say <laughs> Dave Grohl is being? Five is mega bitch. Caroline Selly five is Kanye. <laughs> so let's, oh yeah, we got the bitchometer. It's a chug 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 <laughs> And I am feeling it. Now, I guess it's going to be soon. Yeah, we gotta move on to our solicited I advice. Know, I'm so excited. We to gotta start. move on to get our calls from you guys. We're so excited. There's and people just, waiting. Yes, to... and I wanna say thank you to everybody who has already subbed. Yes. Alex, thank you to everyone who has given out gifted subs. I really appreciate you guys. We're gonna read off the names of everybody who got subs at the end of our show. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for getting in your subs because we really appreciate it. Because then you're do. gonna know whenever we're doing Who's the Bitch because we're gonna do it every other week. And what if you forget? And then you're not here Dave. Levels. Levels. wow dave they've already canceled their the, basically foo fighters are on indefinite hiatus i don't know how you come back from kanye level I bitchiness i don't think you do i don't think you I do bro you do uh, now thank you guys so much for getting in your votes we really appreciate you because we are moving on to our solicited advice. Yes, and that's you guys that are calling us right now. I'm yes. so excited. Yes. I'm so yes. excited. All right. Yes. Who are we Cocktails talking to? Who are we talking to? Ready to Let's talk. Let's take it to, to the phone. Oh, I hear a call. Right. I hear a call. Ready for us. Hello, caller. You're on the line with Who's the Bitch? This is our first call. Everybody, give us one second. Demon Lemurnik, what did he do? I understand another family is crazy, but fuck men anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Demon Lemurnik. <laughs> yeah, I guess, Hello? like, you know, controlling um, Hello? A, a full person, like what he's doing with Bianca Sensori, but Lord knows now that we know that Dave Grohl is bad. Yeah. Lord knows what else he's doing. Okay. Sorry about that. I think we're having a... Um... Uh, reception issue. We're getting some kinks out of the system. It's Chug a Butts' story time. I went to the doctor because I was having some... Okay, so this is what I alluded to earlier. Um, this is like a 15, 16 year old story. Okay, okay. all right, point. I'm here for it. There's um, no fucking expiration date on bitchiness. <laughs> so I'm 28 years old, um, and this happened when I was in middle school, when I was in seventh grade, and it still bothers me to this day. Okay. Because I don't know if I'm the bitch or not. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, so. At the time, I felt like she was, like, one of my only friends. She was, like, the person that I could, like, confide in. Oh, yeah. Um, Especially middle and school. That's, like, this, a like, best bitch right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we had this, like, rapport where we would just, like, joke and tease each other all the time. And, like, call each other names, but, like, we never truly meant it. 
you know, it was just one of those things where like, ah, you're such a bitch, you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, and then there was this one time where I was talking to somebody else. I don't even remember who this was at this point, but I was talking to somebody else about her and they were saying how like she had been kind of like dating around and keep in mind, this is like middle school. This is like seventh grade stuff, seventh, no eighth grade. Anyway, um, so, like, we're starting to, like, at that age, you know, like, start having sexual experiences and things like that. Whoa. And she was, like, kind of, like, going around and, like, doing some things. Um, and I was just joking around. And I said, oh, my gosh, yeah, ha, 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 she's such a whore, which I called her that all the time, jokingly, jokingly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and she understood at that point that it was a joke. Um, but it got around to her from this person, this other person I was talking to, like I said, I don't even remember who, um, that I had oh. said that and I had called her a whore and she flipped out on me. She completely like dropped me as a friend. She sent me this long, like instant message and was just like, you know, you're cut out of my life. I don't want to be around you anymore. Ooh, um, like, I don't, I don't trust you. Like, just get out of my life. And she said a lot of like really hurtful things, <laughs> like picking at my insecurities and, you know, things that like, I can't forget, you know, yeah, like I... things such as like, oh, things like I was really insecure about, you know, my weight growing up as well as my looks. And she was like, if you, if you want to be pretty, lose some weight and put on some makeup. And <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Not okay. So it was like, hurt people, it, hurt it, people. It, yeah. Um, it so I don't really know at this point. And like it, a couple of years later, like we, she basically like dropped all contact. We never talked to each other again after that. Um, and then a couple of years later, she messaged me out of the blue when we were in high school and was like, Hey, want to meet up? Do, are you down? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like maybe she'll apologize. Yeah. Um, and never did. It was really awkward. Um, you did I, meet up with her though. I did. <gasps> I did. We didn't talk about it at all. Um, and she never apologized. I don't, to be completely honest, I don't remember if I apologized or not either. Ooh. No, but yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because right after she blew up on me, I was like, I'm sorry. Uh, I never meant to like hurt you with that. And she just never dignified that with a response. Yeah. So who's the bitch here? <laughs> Whoa. It's so, Ugh, that's man. so complicated because it's like, because yeah, you were like using the thing is, is like you were using vernacular and language that you two had together, but outside of your mm -hmm. relationship. Right. And so I think yeah. for her to get it filtered through this guy or through whoever many people it went through for her to get it. She it, she probably wasn't hearing it in the your voice going, what's up, whore? Right. She was hearing it just mm. whore, you know, so I get her yeah. thing. But then I think also not giving you the space to explain yourself and to and just attacking and going right at you um, but then i also kind of mm -hmm. feel like her asking you to get together like was her kind of like apologize she apologized she should have apologized apologizing is really fucking hard for people it's really hard for people she should have mm -hmm. she should have she's the bitch for not apologizing for sure but then she, but she's the one that reached out to you. And then you guys hung out. And then what? Never again? Never again. We never spoke to wow. each other again. Whoa. We never talked again. Wow. And okay. yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know where she's at. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, um, so, man. Yeah. That is, it, it's so hard because I feel like it's like that age group too, when you're like, oh, I guess I can never have a female friend, which I don't yeah. know if you went through that slide, <laughs> but I just remember being hurt by people at that age being like, oh, guess I don't trust girls anymore. And like, and then you immediately mm -hmm. shut down like that wall. I do think that she, I feel that this was a misunderstood situation where she was really hurt and she yeah. popped off. Yeah. And I don't, you mm -hmm. know what, I dare say you know but if you apologized and she just didn't hear your apology at all and didn't come at you and didn't like like further mm. that after your apology i feel and maybe this is being nuts 
that if someone apologizes and it is heartfelt and you actually go to them and say, I'm sorry, and you don't receive an I accept or I'm sorry as well, or there's not an interchange with that, I do feel, yeah. not every time, but in a situation like this, that that person would be the bitch. Yeah. Even though they were Yeah, or even hurt. if she said, you know, like, I don't accept your apology, I would have... I would have, you know, accepted that. And then, yeah, and just no been bitch. Like, okay, and then, well, I fucked up here. Yes. Yeah. And then the bitch is zeroed out. Yes. Yeah. Lisa Pizza. I think the meetup is evidence that the friendship isn't going to be the same. You're right. Yeah. It was just so awkward. It. Yeah. It was so awkward. And like, I, I was definitely interested in like kind of like rekindling what we had. But we had gone off to separate schools at that point, and there was no mention of it at all. It was just never brought up again, and she never apologized. I, I do remember now that, yeah, like right after she had sent me that long message, like popping off, I had said, you know, hey, I'm sorry. And, you know, basically sent her like a long, like, this was a misunderstanding. Like, you know, I would never like call you that to hurt you. And right. it just... Yeah, never, never got a response. And I think that I, says I don't think a lot we... about I think that says a lot about also though how she was feeling at the time. Like she must have been really feeling mm -hmm. like maybe like s sex stuff with her was spiraling a little bit. Maybe she was feeling she, like, am I a whore? A bad yeah, like she had some bad experiences or, or, or she, good experiences yeah. that she was ashamed about. Yeah. Also, it's like adding in sex, especially at that age and talking about someone else's sex is so vulnerable. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And everybody's so fucking judgmental. It's mm -hmm. tough. But like, yeah, you immediately apologizing. Like <laughs> uh, somebody here, uh, um, one, a commenter said you apologized. You did what you could. Aurora Floyd said that. That's true. You did what you could. Like, you're in seventh grade. You fuck mm -hmm. up. You say sorry. What do you want? I mean, what else can you do? Yeah. You know? And I hate to say it. Eighth if, grade. Even though, because I want you to feel yeah. valid because I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But I dare say at this point, it might be a bitchless crime. Yeah. You're just too. <laughs> you're just bitchless too crime. Children, I like that. Time. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little over that. I think, yeah, I think it was a bitchless crime. And I think that, um, but it's also good to like talk this out and be like, hey, I'm okay with feeling mm -hmm. right, still confused. I would still be confused at your age as yes. well. Like, I think that it is like completely understandable to be where you're at and also to still think about it, especially because like right. Slime, I do know you and I know that you're a really good person and I know you would yeah. never want to make somebody feel that way. And I completely understand as a, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. want to speak for you saying you're a people pleaser but i am a ple people pleaser and when i think about someone that i upset oh for sure and then yeah. it, it just spirals 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 in your brain so i need you to know yeah you've said it here and you're not also the like it, that it was that but double double because she was like my only friend at the time yeah and the only person that i could really like convert in well, that's so, the, the yeah, thing I it, always it like. With me. The thing I like always say about people, and this goes from seventh grade into adulthood, is like I talk about this like all the time with other friends. Is like you earn money in the bank with people. Like you are always earning like with the things that you do for somebody, the emotional trust you're putting in somebody. So it's like if you were just like a random friend she met the week before, and then she heard you called her a whore. It's like yeah, bye, out of my life. But you have, you were somebody who like had a really strong relationship with her. You guys had built a lot of trust to me there was money in the bank and I mm -hmm. always think it's sad when somebody just like walks away from a situation where there's money in the bank because you earned that you guys built that together and then she was just like bye and I think that says a lot more about like maybe something she was going through because you guys were clearly close mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah and the fact that she made it so personal too yeah it was just yes. that's the when it also tips into bitch territory yeah i'm trying to say bitchless mm. crime because it was so long ago and i imagine <laughs> i can only imagine and I, I would i don't really want to be calling 13 year olds bitches too much no especially though they are no, you fucking honestly, 13 year olds <laughs> no they're vulnerable about their sexuality as well you oh know, my god it's like we it. heard about one girl in seventh grade who had sex and we were all like oh! 
like it was insane. Yeah. What it's a school? crazy middle school is middle school should be illegal. I think we should every kid should be yes. homeschooled from sixth grade yes. to ninth grade, and then we let them back into Gen Pop. Then they get to be, yeah, exactly. Then they get to go figure their shit out. Yeah. Slime, thank you so much. Thank for you calling for in. calling. I don't thank know you, you but you seem lovely. Caller. I really appreciate you. Love you so much, <laughs> Slime. You. you have a great You're night. So sweet. Is Slime, oh, yeah. her, her <laughs> screen name. Slime Gang is, is okay. yes, is is her All right, name. Yes, I. Uh, but I've known Slime in the in the world of Twitch for many many. years. Slime. Beautiful slime. Beautiful slime. <laughs> and if you would like to call in bit.ly slash LPN hotline. And we have more calls. We have more right, calls lined I'm up. Ready. I'm re I love this. I love how we went full, full, uh, uh oh, we're taking another call. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Awesome. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Who is the bitch? Let's start yelling. <laughs> okay. So my question is. I, am I the bitch? Okay. In this story? Ooh, okay. I love this. A little backstory. So my sister's getting married, like, in a week. -ish. Okay. Oh, cool. And her bridal shower was a couple weeks ago. Okay. And my parents are divorced. They've been divorced for like ten years. It was not a good divorce. Everybody is still very upset about it, oh. including like a lot of family members, uh. which is so silly. But that's what it is. And so when Nicole, my sister, was inviting people to her bridal shower, she invited people from both sides because my dad's side of the family is really small. So there's only like three people she would have invited. Ooh. And that's my grandma, my aunt, and my cousin. Okay. And they're just like kind of weird and they've always been kind of weird, but that's okay. The divorce really affected them and they just don't show up for us like the other side of my family does. Uh. And so... Yeah. That's fine. Not a big deal. Nicole invites them to the bridal shower um, and she gets a response from my grandma a couple weeks before the shower saying she like couldn't come, but like in a really weird little like handwritten note way. And Nicole was like, that's strange. Something's something's going on because it's my grandma. Why would she not come to my bridal shower? And just send a note. <laughs> And to send a note, yeah, yeah, and no explanation of like why she. It was just like I shan't be attending. Goodbye. That Literally, was like in cursive, I shan't be coming to your bridal shower. Okay. <laughs> it's really weird. Okay. And so Nicole asked me, she's like, "Hey, can you like go ask just like to see if something is going on?" So I stopped by, just was like, "Hey, like, are you guys out of town that weekend? What's going on?" She's like, "Oh no, if we were out of town, we would have we would have told you." And I was like. Okay, okay, so like, what's what's happening? <laughs> She's like, well, you didn't invite Kim, my aunt, to the bridal shower. And I was like, well, that's not true. Come to find out, um, my aunt didn't get an invite, but there was like 10 people that didn't get invites on like various sides of the family. The mail was kind of fucked up, whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, so she was invited, just so she just didn't get the invitation. She was invited, uh -huh. she just didn't get the invitation. Uh, and so, another another <laughs> USPS problem. Oh, the United they States really Postal Service oh. fucking <laughs> things up with families. Okay, go on. Yes, so she thought she wasn't invited, but then my sister like found out from another family member that this was happening from like another cousin. So she had texted like a mass text being like, hey, if you didn't get an invite, so sorry, here's a picture. You guys were all yeah, invited, no big yeah. deal. That happened like weeks before. And so I told my grandma, I was like, well, that's kind of bullshit. Cause like she was invited, that's fine. Um, wish you guys could be there. Um, I think it's kind of silly that you guys aren't showing up for Nicole, but that's your prerogative, you know? Um, and then Nicole got a text from my cousin, who's the daughter of that aunt, and was like, unfortunately, I will not be able, or regretfully, I won't be able to attend because of the situation. And Nicole was like, <gasps> what situation? So now I'm the bitch. What situation? The fact that you were invited to, to the wedding? Is that what the situation is? <laughs> no, it's that I confronted my 80 year old grandma <laughs> asking her why she wasn't coming. And even my dad is like pissed at me. He's like, why would you ask her that? And I was like, I don't, Nicole asked me to, I don't know. <laughs> it was so silly. Oh my God. So they all think I'm the bitch. And like, no, clearly the bitch in this scenario is United States post office 
Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. He is the bitch in this situation. This is crazy, though. I also feel like <laughs> this is like people that are itching for a fight, yes, right? Are they yes. itching no, for that's a way? Exactly what it feels like. Yeah. I would also assume, too, that they probably all have their hackles up already because they think it's going to be a difficult situation. So they're already coming in with their fucking yeah. bitch fucking clips up. And you're yeah. just, like, chill out for a second. This is actually a positive situation. And you would think that, like, your cousin, you would think your cousin, who's, like, the young one in the situation, I'm assuming, right? Kind of your age-ish yeah. a little She's bit. like my age. Yeah, yeah like, that sh you could just be like, hey, listen, this was, like, an invitation thing. Can you just, like, organize your your mom and like grandma to like like to all come and like this is not weird yeah and she's not <laughs> stepping up everybody's like wanting this to be drama also yeah no, i don't think exactly you're the bitch like. for doing something that your sister asked you to do and no, also, I would I literally your sister was her, being, so. <laughs> and I don't think your sister was being a bitch for asking you to do it either no. because someone that has planned a wedding, there are times when you look to your either siblings or best friends and like, hey, I need you to take care of this shit. It is something I yeah. literally cannot handle right now. Yeah. I need you to go in and need you to take care of it. Yeah. So for anyone to be upset with you, I think is absolute bullshit. <laughs> and I think a lot of people well, in there, chat are saying that so your aunt is certainly being the bitch in this situation. Yeah. Um, would say that somebody yeah. <laughs> XX grapes uh, gra grapples XX says the old love grapes. I always say grapes, oh, sorry. even though they're not grapists, but grapists sounds like <laughs> gra 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 grapples grapples says the olds love drama. I have an 80 year old grandma. <laughs> the olds love drama. They do. They and, love drama. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm not saying your She's grandmother. Bored. I don't think your grandmother is being the bitch in this situation. I think your grandmother's being the grandmother in this situation. And I feel like I don't want to call a grandmother a bitch in a situation. Yeah, but general like Yeah, like generationally it would go that the na the niece should talk to her mom, who should talk to her mom, and they should Massage and go the situation. and fucking figure it out because this is crazy and you guys are missing out on like a little party with cute little tea sandwiches and whatever to celebrate yeah. your sister. Why are you being crazy? Weddings bring out the worst, yeah. and I'm so sorry that you're going now, through this. What's the next step, though? Can I ask? What's the next step? Like, this was the shower. Yeah, Isn't the wedding in a week? Are they coming? Yeah, are they going to come to the wedding? Yeah, so they didn't come to the bridal shower, even though Nicole made it very clear that it was important to her. And so then <sighs> she, because she's very stressed out, I don't hold this against her, she didn't want to invite them to the wedding anymore. Um, she wanted to straight up, like, call yeah, them or stop by and be like, you're not invited. Yeah. And my dad was very upset about that because it's his family which i understand um and they rsvp'd like a week and a half late to the wedding which i think is super on purpose and super petty but oh whatever. it certainly is but i will yeah, say so she's the one nice thing about a wedding, remind yourself and remind your sister that even if they have to be there to keep the peace to keep your dad happy you're not gonna talk to them you can kind of pretend like they don't. Yeah. I had Table 15. My wedding. Put them in the fucking That's corner, thing. I baby. I had people at my wedding. I, nec I didn't exactly necessarily right. want at my wedding. And I just kept them far away from me. And I didn't fucking talk to them. <laughs> and and I, maybe I was being the bitch in that situation. But I'm just saying, remind your sister that no matter what happens, everything's going to work out. And that she's not going to have to deal. Unfortunately, it is going to fall on your shoulders. It is your job yeah. as sister to take it. And I'm the maid of honor. So oh, they're at the yeah. furthest table. They're like the last. So to just like go get over like during the wedding and go, we love having you here. Great to see you. <laughs> blah, piece, blah, 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 blah. Two blah, seconds blah, blah. and go back to your drinks. Get on the dance floor and shake your ass. Like it doesn't, you know. We're going to have a great time. Just it's going to be great. So it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And like, that's the thing at a wedding. It, they're so fun. And it's like, don't let the haters get even anywhere near like your like little bubble of fun you know and if there's one thing yeah. that i really do kind of want to push on this show it is taking the high road and how far it gets you you be the nicest version of yourself when they show up to that wedding oh see we didn't talk about that in advance oh, jackie see, oh, i want low road i, I want low road, road. This is why i want you well. to fucking trip them on their way into the reception <laughs> let's get grandma a new hip <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding no high road no, high road I'm high such road a bitch of like okay you want to be like this okay you want to be a trash person 
I'm going to be. I'm going to kill you with kindness. Oh, babe. Yeah. Now you're going to be the best maid of honor that you can be. You will just be only cordial to them. It sounds like you're being a great maid of honor. You're killing this so far. <laughs> you're doing a great job. No, you, oh, yeah. You're not the best, Not the babe. bitch. <laughs> I appreciate it. I will keep that all in mind. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much for calling in. And I please also call in afterwards and let us know. how. Oh, yes. Or DM us or something. We need to know. We need to know. I want to know how the wedding goes. (laughs) I want to know if your grandma starts some shit at this wedding. I really need to know. (laughs) And Um, how you put it down. Put that shit down. You don't let her ruin your sister's day. You are the guard of the day. You take care of your sister. You got this shit. I got it. Thank you guys so much. (laughs) Have a good night. Have a great night. Um, Do we have time for one more or do we have to get to our... Yeah, maybe one more? Yeah, I feel like we can scooch in one more. Let's get one more in there. I'd love to have three. Oh, no, no, no. We're getting out of here. We're all good. Okay, so we're going to move on to our last segment, which is where we... Movies Dark Materials does ask, can the show have an update segment? I think that we're going to be having updates. I'm going to ask, I want updates. I love updates. I want to find out how it goes. I am just a a little nosy, a little anteater bitch. I love an update. We need updates. Please get us, get back to us with your updates. Uh... Honestly, who's the bitch.com has all the info you're going to need for contacting us, for listening and watching everything. Um, okay. I love that Caroline Sully called it a bitch date. I love it. I love calling it bitch date. Bitch date. All right. This is our final segment where this is going to be a rotating segment. Yes. But today we thought it would be fun to go into like old advice columns from days of yore uh, and look at the absolute batshit advice they used to give people back in the day. And then we can weigh in on who's the bitch. Please. Who's the old bitch? Who's the old timey bitch? Who's that old timey bitch? And I guess this segment's called What What Am I To Do? Thank you so much for the sub, some kind of self. And um, also, I love Slime Gang. They said, LOL, I don't think there will ever be any updates for my story. Slime, you say that. But I don't know. I'm going to a, I'm going to a wedding of someone of my uh, high school friend in a couple of weeks. And I've not seen any people from high school. I'm about to see a oh bunch of them. God. So you never know when you're going to find yourself in a situation like oh that. Oh, my Slime, God. That's saying. crazy. All right. So this is a segment. Yeah, we go back and we look at some old advice. So I found this one column from uh, Dear Miss Fairfax, which Dear Miss Fairfax, Miss, Fair, Miss Beatrice Fairfax. I can't find out what publication it was in. She died in 1945. So at the age of 70. So I'm imagining that this letter that we're getting here com- came from like the early 1900s of some Thanks, at some sort. How you doing, babe? Okay, so this says, Dear Miss Fairfax, I have been keeping steady company with a young gentleman for about six months. What I mean by steady company is this. I I have not been out with any other men, nor has he with any other girls since we have started going with each other. We see each other every night. We are deeply in love with each other. This gentleman is 10 years my senior. Okay, he has okay. asked me to become engaged to him on my 18th birthday. I know on my, her 18th birthday, she's writing it. Uh, she is a child. She is uh, only 17, she maybe 16. We don't know. Soon. I know my parents will not object as they like him very much. I have not yet given my answer to him as to whether I will accept a ring on my 18th birthday as I wanted your advice on the matter first. Oh. Is it advisable to spoon with a young man of a passionate disposition? Sign SS. What if the spoon is elderly and I am but a child? Okay. The Miss Fairfax writes back, you love each other, your parents approve, there is no reason why you should not become engaged and eventually happily married. Oh, good. In answer to your second inqu- inquiry, most emphatically, no. No, nay, you may no. never, you may never, you may no never. No spooning. Never spooning is for the devil. Never a fork, spooning never a knife. is the devil's foreplay. Listen, guys. This I love is this. So, there's so Own many red flags. Is, I'm in this. so glad times are changing. I know. There's <laughs> so many red flags in this. Like, number one, she's 16 or 17 going out with a 26 or 27 year old who is just waiting for her 18th birthday, like the Olsen twins when people were <gasps> waiting oh for Oh my them God, the early. countdown. The countdown the clock for the Olsen twins. Okay. That's number one. Number two is she's like, 
I cannot possibly accept a marriage proposal until this random columnist tells me that I can. Couldn't possibly. So Miss Beatrix, yeah. this ver- Miss, um, sorry, Miss Fairfax is very important in this girl's life. Very good to And then know. number three is Miss Fairfax is like, spooning is for sluts. Yes. Oh, God. Don't, hey, slime, don't pick it up. I feel like you got to <laughs> let, start letting people know if you are spooning out of wedlock, you're a whore. Oh, spooning out of wedlock. How fucking dare you? No. You want to press your little butt up against somebody's little penis with their with their old timey pajamas on, oh, yes. their bloomers or whatever oh, they've yes. got on? Oh, you the penis little will be hooker! Up against this. You come on. little hooker! Come on, come on! Very into it. I think that it is good to write into an old bitch and ask if I can cuddle my uh, significant other. And I, I I dare say I think that especially if you're going by how I used to act, I would definitely not cuddle until like the eighth date. <laughs> you know, like I'm banging, I'm banging, I'm doing. She whatever. says they I'm see each other out. every night. They see each other every night. They're in love, and she just wants to spoon. And this columnist is like, "How dare you press your bodies together, fully clothed?" I just think they they don't have television. What the fuck else are they doing? Like, if there was a, nothing else I could do besides read, like I'm in Beauty and the Beast, or fuck, which is I'm assuming all they want to be doing, you're just gonna be a well-read bitch at the age of fifteen, ready to be wed, and just. Like, I mean, I'm also coming at this from a person who just simply adored dry humping in my younger days. Oh, really? I just loved to dry hump. Oh, oh wow. my god! Is this something that you still frottage. Your you can just put frottage on my fucking business card. I loved it. I wow. loved dry humping. Wow! Oh, just like after a wedding or in a taxi cab in New York, you just fucking dry hump a little bit. Just ramming yeah. each other. Just so denim right. on denim. Let's go. Right come on. Like I love frottage. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, come on. Okay, you are not I'm alone. Not, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. No. You're shaming me a little bit, Jamie, not, Jackie. I, ma- I feel right now. I think... You know, I think it's, you know what I think going to be really great about this show is I think we're going to learn a lot about each other and th- about things that we didn't know. Because I love dry humping. You love dry humping, and I feel like I don't know about. Dry humping? No, I just don't know about your sexual escapades. Oh, I don't just dry know. humping, pretty much. It's, is it just, is dry it's, humping it's as far as. Pretty much went? dry humping, yeah, yeah, yeah. To only dry humping. Oh, Kara, dry humping. For me, it was dry humping, marriage, kids. That's how ah, I did it. That's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need. Now, uh, Top Gage says, what's this show called? It's called <laughs> Who's the Bitch? Chat is on my side. Chat's Chat on is on side. my side. They Chat. love dry humping. Tom it's just Stork a fun Engine's way to like get things hump. going on the transit home. Should I be dry humping more? Now, what happens if you don't have a transit ride home? Should I be just like going home? I see my husband on the couch. I crawl on top. I start dry humping him. <laughs> Well, what's your married dry humping is like, what are we doing? You know, I'm just talking about when you're still alive in the courting phase. Gotta keep it alive. Thank you so much, Meadow, and welcome. Um, uh, what what do you think? Do we do, should we we have one more, or we just we Why should probably we wrap it up? Let's, Let's wrap it up. We'll do it for next year. We'll this do it for next great. week's what ought I to do? I knew we were gonna have too much to talk about. I know, and I really appreciate you guys checking out our brand new show, Who's the Bitch? And I want to say thank you guys so much for getting in your subs. I want to say thank you so much for the subs. J H Mira, Slime Gang, Thomas the Torque Engine, Redditch Prop, Jotte, Chelsea Nadine. Oh, there. There you go, Lisa Pizza, some kind of self, and Lil Bish Bear gifted five subs. I don't really play video games. Gifted ten subs. TMB four seventy six gifted ten subs. And Action Bastard gifted twenty five subs. Woo, woo, woo. Thank you guys so much for your subs, and thank you to everybody for joining us on our first episode of Who's the Bitch. So get your, you know, get your quandaries together. Do you have some shit you kind of want to bring to us and find out? Oh, am I being a yeah. bitch? Yeah, you've got a friend that comes Ooh. to you the problem and you go I don't really know how to answer that you go I got two bitches that do and, and then you bring, bring it, it to us. us bring it to us because we are not scared of letting you know if maybe you're being the bitch in your scenario because sometimes you gotta get it out of your brain yeah even if you know you talk somebody's it out. being the bitch or you know you're being the bitch sometimes you gotta hear it so let us know go to who's the bitch.com in between shows you can email us you can leave us a voicemail you can DM us yes. on Instagram come give us a follow give us 
some, uh, what are they? Uh, not auditions. Reviews. Yeah. Lord. You guys can subscribe also on Apple and Spotify. This will come out as on a podcast in two days on Wednesday, October 2nd. And then every Wednesday there will be a podcast. It will either be this live stream or it will be an audio only podcast that we do, especially for you where we're going to read voicemails and DMs and stuff. It'll be more of this. It'll be more fun. And um, so every week you'll get more Who's the Bitch and subscribe, review, rate and review or whatever bullshit you're supposed to do. And Hell we yeah. love you. Hell yeah. Yeah, Panic Bouton, thank you for following on Spotify. You can follow us wherever you yeah. can. Yeah. And I just want to say just a heartfelt thank you to everybody that came and joined us. If you had thank no idea you. what it was going to be, I just want to say thank you. <sighs> I want to say thank you so much, Kara. Thank and you so much to you. Everybody and to you. For giving us this opportunity. Uh, and um, well, hell, I guess you'll hear from us next week and you'll see us in two weeks. So don't go too far. Well, you can because it's the end of the show. But who's the bitch? LPN. We love you. We'll talk to you we'll soon. See you soon.